the SAT loves to test you on exponents and the exponent rules. So it pays to know the definitions of exponents, what they mean, and then also the rules to manipulate them. So let's talk about exponents first. Let's imagine we have x cubed. In a previous video we went over this, but what does x cubed mean? It just means you take x and you multiply it by itself three times. So this is no different than x times x times x. How about x to the fifth? Well, this would just be x times x times x times x times x. Okay, simple enough. How about something like a negative exponent, x to the negative three? You don't see this too much on the SAT, but occasionally. This is the same thing as one over x to the positive three. So you just take this, you put it on the bottom over under a one, and then you put a cubed, or you basically make the exponent positive. And that's about it. And this is again the same thing as one over x times x times x. And in general the rule was if you have some x to some negative a, it's the same thing as one over x to the a. Again, not something that comes up too often, but just in case. x to the one, well that's just x, of course. Uh, we just don't write the one usually because it's assumed when we have just an x by itself. How about x to the zero? Well, anything to the zero is just equal to one. So if you had a thousand to the zero, it's one. If you had a trillion to the zero, it's one. It doesn't matter. How about fractional exponents? Again, just like negative exponents, these guys don't come up too often. If I have x to the half, this is an important one to know, x to the half is the same thing as the square root of x. x to the third is the same thing as the cube root of x. And the trick is you basically, whatever the fractional denominator is, so two or three, you just make that into your root. So if I had x to the three sevenths, which you'll likely never see on the SAT, but just in case, this is the same thing as, well, the seven is on the bottom, so this is the seventh root of what? Well, it's the seventh root of x cubed. And that's it. Again, not something you're gonna to see too often, but who knows? Uh, we could even have something like x to the negative 5 thirds. Well, this is the same thing as 1 over x to the 5 thirds by our negative exponent rules. And then we could even make this a little bit different by writing the cube root of x to the fifth, right? Because this is my 3, so it goes up there, and then my 5 stays up top. So those are some basic definitions of what exponent are, exponents are. The most important thing from this chapter, from this unit, is the exponent rules. These are a must to remember. They come up decently often, and if you know the rules, you know how to use them, they're relatively easy points. So what are my exponent rules? One way to remember this is mad spam. And that is when you multiply our exponents, we add them. Or when you multiply two things that are exponents, you add the exponents. When you divide two things that are exponents, you subtract their exponents. And when you raise an exponent to a power, you multiply. And I'll show you some examples. So let's imagine I have x, let's see, x squared times x to the fifth. Well, we saw this in the Algebra Basics video. Basically, you just add the exponents, x to the seventh. So in general, the rule is x to the a times x to the b is just x to the a plus b. How about dividing? So x to the, let's say, 5 over x to the 2. Here we just subtract the exponents, right? Divide makes you subtract. So we get x to the 3. One thing, how about x to the 6 divided by x to the 2? This is not equal to x cubed, right? Don't divide the exponents, you subtract them. So this is actually just equal to x to the 4th. And again, the rule is if you have x to the a divided by x to the b, it's just the same thing as x to the a minus b. Finally, the power rule. So if I have x squared to the fifth, you just multiply the exponents. This is the same thing as x to the tenth. And so the general rule is if I have x to the a and I raise it to the b power, it's x to the a b. And those are our rules. Obviously there are questions that we're gonna go over in math tactics that use these rules, but you wanna know these rules, be comfortable with them, and the questions will go relatively painlessly.